Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski with DoStampingWithDawn.com and I'm here with another How'd She Do That video. And today's card is another fun fold card. It is called a corner flip. Now these have been very popular lately so I thought I'd add them to my fun fold card series videos and they are surprisingly easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need for this project is a piece of cardstock. It measures eight and a half by five and a half. I've also um, scored it at the four and a quarter inch um, mark, and that's essentially in half. So the next thing that you'll want to do is I'm using Stampin' Up's paper trimmer, and I'm aligning the left edge with a three inch mark. We're going to use the dark blade, which is the cutting blade, and you'll notice that it has a, an arrow on it which points to um, the measurements on um, this kind of ruler mark here. So I have lined that up with two and a half inches. I'm going to go ahead and press that down. And then I'm coming down here, let's get that on screen for you, so it, um, so I can kind of eyeball where I want to go next which is four and seven eighths. So we're going two and a half to four and seven eighths. Now I'm going to just turn it and I'm going to realign it at three inches again. Move my blade up to three inches and you'll notice when you do that that it matches the line that you just cut. So now I'm going to eyeball where five eighths is, that's up here, and cut from three inches to five eighths. And there you go. Now the next thing, we're ready to do the corner flip. So how you're going to do that is you'll push the, the cut away from you and pull the top towards you. Now I recommend having your bone folder ready for that. And you'll just see how I just flipped it there. I'm going to nudge it into place and use my bone folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half. And you have got your corner flip. It's as easy as that. So let me show you how um, I put the rest of the card together. Alright, so before you start your decorating, you actually probably want to tack down this corner here from the flip. And you could use Stampin' Dimensionals um, or I'm using a glue dot. That works kind of nice as well. So that's going to keep that down for you. So let's do a little stamping. Um, I've used a stamp set called You've Got This. This is brand new. For, it's going to come out June 2nd, 2015. It's got a great floral image in there and um, three greetings. These are really nice greetings in here. But it comes in a set of one of two. And when I get two, I like to put them together in one, keeping them all in one place. So this one has a background um, kind of stamp. It's a scratchy sort of background. And um, I have stamped this with watercolor, excuse me, watermelon wonder. This is brand new, one of the five new ink colors that are coming out June 2nd as well. I've used the same color for my um, base cardstock. Now, I have stamped this image off on a piece of scratch paper first and then onto um, my paper here, which is Whisper White. Now, um, I, the reason I wanted that is because I wanted something a little bit lighter so that when I overstamped it with the black, it would, the black would actually pop more. Now, the black that I used is um, stays on jet black. So, let's talk a little bit about measurements. This area here measures is about a three inch square. So, I just um, did all my layers down from that a quarter inch. So from three inch we've got two and three quarters in the black and the whisper white is two and a half inches. So that's how that all comes together. So next I'm going to show you some tricks on um, the greeting with a uh, new punch and my stapler trick. Here's, here's another new product coming June 2nd, 2015. It's called the Triple Banner Punch. And um, it's named that because it will punch banner ends in three different sizes. And I actually found a fourth size. So it's designed to do two inches, one and a half, and one inch. So I'll just do a one inch one real quick here. And this is what we get and that's what's left over. All right. Now, I've done a three-quarter inch one and I'll come in really close here. 
so you can see what I'm doing. So there is, see those little markings? I found that if I positioned a three-quarter inch piece right in between that, voila, I get exactly what I need. Isn't that cool? So I think they misnamed this one. It should be a quarter, or excuse me, a quadruple punch. But that's okay. We'll stick with the triple one for now. Now that's how I got my little banners here. Oh, I wanted to make one more note. So this little piece that's kind of cut off, it measures 7 eighths. So if you want um, a banner a certain size, you want to add 7 eighths of an inch to your measurement and because that's what it's going to cut away. All right, now I've already attached these two little banners together, and I want to talk a little bit about um, how I put this little um, baker's twine. Now, my favorite thing that I've been doing lately is to use Stampin' Up's handheld um, stapler. Love it. And um, now, when you purchase the handheld stapler, be sure to add some um, mini staples to your um, order as well. They come in a set of two. You do get a handful of these with it, but you're going to need more. So, let me show you how I do this. So the baker's twine that I'm using is basic black, and um, I want to say this is probably roughly about eight inches, and it is so easy. Just hold it here. Put your stapler in, and I'm making sure that my staple goes, oops, I forgot, I'm out of staples. So let's talk about how to put them in. So you're going to open it like this, it swings around, and then you open like that to get your staples in. And then I'll just slide this in, and back, and around. There we go. Okay, back to adding the staple. Now, like I said, I want to keep my, um, my twine in the middle so that I still can move this around. Um, if I have too much string on one side, I can pull it to the other side. If I decide I want my um, bow, and so this is how I'm tying my bows. Just real quick, easy, voila, you're done. So this I love this, and of course the gals that have been using them in my classes, they have been totally enjoying this. Um, it lets you anchor that, and it keeps it steady um, for when you're tying your bow. So what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that's how I put that together. I added a couple dimensionals, and then we added it to the card here. For the inside measurements, I did white. It measures three and three quarters by five inches. And then um, the black is four inches by five and a quarter inch. So there you go. Oh, when you open it, you've got this little panel here. Um, I think I measured this. And if you put a two inch square, you could put like a greeting or something there as well. So that would be cute too. So let's see. I have one more card here to show you. This one here. As I shared on my blog a few days ago, um, this uses the Guy Greetings um, stamp set. And the colors on here are Soft Suede, uh, Lost Lagoon, and Crumb Cake. So how cute is that? And I added a little um, detail in the corner. Now this one, if you can see, this has a dimensional on it, and that helps anchor this. And I also put a glue dot underneath that. So I hope you enjoyed this corner flip fun fold tutorial. Be sure to stop by my blog at DoStampingWithDawn.com and for shopping you can stop by my Stampin' Up! store at DoStamping.StampinUp.net. Thanks!